Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to upload a syllabus into your course in Blackboard. So I've logged into Blackboard. And I'm going to enter a course. Now also, just as a reminder, this set of buttons and links is a design that came from the visit we had from the Higher Learning Commission in the fall of 2012. They recommended that we provided some kind of continuity for students within Blackboard regarding how they access their content. So if you want to learn more about why these links and headings have been created and why you need to keep them in your course, please view the video called New Menu in Blackboard. And there will be a link to that video at the end of this video. All right, so in the newer courses, you automatically have a syllabus button. But if you've copied content into your course, um, or if you've deleted it by mistake, I just want to quickly show you how to create the button just in case. So let me delete this one quickly. Okay, so to create any button or heading or, or link um, in Blackboard, you click the plus sign just above all the, your menu links. And there are many different kinds of buttons you could make, but we're going to choose content area. Okay, I'm going to title it syllabus. Click this checkbox to make available to users, and then click submit. Whenever you create a button, it always goes to the bottom of the list. So if you just place your mouse over the button, you'll notice this um, up and down symbol on the left. That tells you that you can drag and drop this particular item. So I left click over that symbol and drag the button up under course guide. Let's see if I can get it there. There we go. All right. And so also notice on a new button, you, a content area button, you may see a, a dotted uh, square on the right side of the button. That just means that currently there is no um, content associated with the button or the link. So now I'm going to click on the syllabus button. And notice the reason it's called a content area button is because now you can see that I have the tools I need to create content in Blackboard. Okay, so I'm going to click Build Content and choose Item, which is the first um, choice in the first column. An item is a tool that allows you to present information. The student receives or reads information. There may be a hyperlink or web resources or an attached file etc. But the student does not send anything back to the instructor you, um, from an item that's been created. So starting from the top, let's um, start with number one, content information. Let's give it a name. You can just put the name of your course. And enter some context for your students. Um, and that's the thing about this item, again, is you know there is an opportunity to just attach a file a tool that just attaches a file without this text box, but I think it's important to give context for whatever you're providing to your students. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, and so that's content information. So scroll to part two, attachments. Choose the syllabus. And so now underneath that, browse my computer, there's an area that shows the file name of the file you attached. A link title, meaning if the file name was very cryptic and the student wouldn't know what it was about at all from the name, you could type something that provided more context. So you could just say, and then give a semester or you know the course name or something um, um, to make it very clear as to what this link is about. But of course, it's still this file name that it's attaching to. All right, and then part three, standard options, refers to how students will view it. Do you want to make it available now? Yes. And generally, for a syllabus, you'll make it available for the whole semester, so no need to um, use your date options at all. Track number of views, again, is optional, default set to no. So then you'll just click Submit. So here it is. You have your title, you have your context, and the um, attachment. Okay, then the student just clicks on the attachment name and that would open up the document. All right. So that's uploading a syllabus into your course in Blackboard. If you have any questions about this video or working in Blackboard at all, don't hesitate to contact the Teaching Learning Center. And also regarding the tutorial I mentioned at the beginning of this video about the reasoning behind these default headings and links, um, please view the new menu in Blackboard video um, and you can just click on this link 
to get to that video as well all right thank you